Hi Libras, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning into your February reading. So this is a general reading for Libra placements where I take a look at the month of February for you guys, see what's going on, what's coming in. Um, this will be for Libra placements, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, or any other placement that resonates for you in Libra. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys in the month of February. Keep in mind Libras. Um, this is a general message. So for those of you that need something more specific, check out the details in the description box. Um, let's see what's going on for Libras in February. What is the energy for Libras? Okay. Seven of pentacles, five of wands, Somebody clashes with a co a coworker, a colleague. Seven of Swords. All right. So, um, Ten of Wands. There's a lot going on energetically for you this month. A lot of it, I feel, some of you do work out for stress, and so a lot of you will be in the gym more often than usual or exercising a lot more often. Be careful of like letting people wear you out and drain you to the point where you're like losing a lot of weight or gaining a lot of weight one extreme or the next. There's extremities here. And so what I pick up is that um, some of you could be taking on too much in February, doing too much work. There's a clash at the office. There's a, cl a clash with a, a coworker or someone here. And it feels like there's some, some suspicious sort of activity going on as well. So try to keep your eyes peeled. That's just a heads up. Um, but let, I mean, let's break it down and see what comes through. Some of you, it's a rough time for a relationship. You could feel like you're in a one-sided connection where you do all the work where you take on all the responsibility with a ton of wands here. And while you're perfectly capable, it feels unfair to you. So let's see the seven of pentacles, all right? Um, you're, you're working, okay? You're working on something. You're investing in yourself. You're investing in a project in your life. And I do feel like that itself, yeah, is going well. You're about to get a new opportunity. This is like when you are in some business and someone goes, we'd love to work with you or here's a new, you know, we were starting this new company where we highlight people who make their own, you know, bags or something. And so this feels like you are getting some sort of message or some sort of new opportunity to start fresh. Okay. Some of you are getting a new opportunity to start fresh with someone, particularly if they're a water energy. So if they're a Pisces cancer, or Scorpio, this may actually turn out really well. So date nights are coming in for you in the month of February. Let me see why the Ace of Cups shows up. Someone's handing you a blessing. Five of Cups. I got it. If someone walks away in February, let them. If someone shuts you out in February, let them. This feels like you investing in something that has lost, you know, it's a, a little bit of its potential. And the Ace of Cups is saying, no, this is a gift. This person, this has kind of been a theme in all of the readings, um, half, half empty, half full, depends on how you look at it, because there's some changes happening in people's lives. And so, um, Typically, you know, if it's something we don't want to change, we're looking at it as why is this happening to me? You guys are going to have that moment because something is coming in to your life, but it requires a sacrifice of something leaving first. And so I do feel like there's a relationship in your life that's strained. Okay. That is very clear. And it feels like this message is five of cups. There's not a lot here left anyway. And so letting it go feels like it opens the door for something new. Okay. Let me clarify this five of cups. All right. Why is the five of cups here with that ace of cups, seven of cups? Yep. It opens up the door to options. So, um, if there's a relationship, a romantic one in your life, I do feel like uh, dating, getting out there, starting dating sites is being encouraged here, right? You clearly don't have to do that. But I do feel like that is, um, like I said, if you're dealing with a water sign and we got all these cups and water here, 
there's a chance there's some success there, especially if you wait or if this happens later February, Pisces season, the hang woman, you may connect to somebody and may be like, oh, this is what I was waiting for. You know, this is finally what I need in my life. OK, um, and so I do feel like there's a relationship it's just, it's like there's stress, there's strain in a connection, there's strain in some workplace connections, but you don't have to stick around. And that's what I kind of get from the seven of cups here, Libras. It's like, you don't, you got some options. You ain't got to stick with this. You don't have to deal with this, right? That's what I get. You don't have to deal with this because you do have other things you can um, rely on, focus on, invest in. Let me see what the seven of cups is here. Eight of cups. You don't have to deal with this. That is your strongest message here. And I also have the seven of pentacles. Um, this feels like you've been, it's been a one-sided, even if it's like a work relationship, you come up with all the ideas. You always have to deal with the money issues. You always have to deal. And it just doesn't feel like it's fair for you. And so the seven of pentacles is... I've done a really good job building something that matters to me, something that I love and care for. It's like my baby, but I'm not getting the support that I need. And so I may have to stop doing it altogether or the way that I was doing it. And so where can you apply that to a relationship, to a, a job partnership or collaboration? Someone's not pulling their weight. It's, it's putting a lot on you. Some of you are working out to the point where, you know, that's taking your stress away, but it's also leaving you um, dealing with possibly health issues. And so the eight of cups comes through with that seven of cups as it feels like leaving a situation is um, encouraged here because it opens the door to something new. I am going to clarify that eight of cups for you, Libras. Three of pentacles. There's a better collaboration in your future. You've been doing all the work, magician. You've been making... All the things happen. Let's say this is about a relationship. You go above and beyond for someone on their birthday because you love them. That person may not put the same effort into you. And so I think cooperation is what is necessary in a relationship in your life. And if you're not getting it, that eight of cups feels like you're emotionally exhausted and you're going to walk away from it. Let me see what the three, three of pentacles is saying. Cause I kind of still feel like that's you guys wanting it to work. 10 of cups. Yeah. You know, it's just here. I'm going to show you what's at the bottom in a second, but it's just here that you guys want something to work and you're willing to continue putting in that effort and, and overexerting yourself. Even if this person, Ten of Swords, is not worthy. So just be very mindful of that. Um, the Five of Wands is that clash. It's that tension between you and somebody. Some of you, this is a romantic partner. Yes, Nine of Cups. Um, I know some of you may not want to hear this, but you may get into it with a partner on Valentine's Day. The Four of Cups is here. This person may not acknowledge that day and it could be special to you. There's something happening where someone doesn't show up for you the way you've shown up for them for cups in February. And so Valentine's Day was just like the main thing I could think of, but it could be anything. You have a store opening, you have a new business you started, you're meeting up with the family um, at a restaurant for, you know, just something where you guys can all be together and this person doesn't show up. Be careful of being stood up. Um, there may be a Libra here that stands someone up because they don't feel like they need to explain, but there's clashing, okay, in connections due to selfishness with the nine of cups here due to um, self-indulging and only concerning, only concerned about my stuff, what I got going on. And so apply that to your situation. Um, Queen of Wands. Um, this is you taking control of your life. You're dealing with someone who has, who feels like they have ignored your efforts to work things out and to get things back to a happy place. So you feel like you make a decision. Sometimes for me, this manifests as, oh, I'm going to post sexy pics online to get their attention, right? You make a decision to get their attention in a way. What's the queen of wands? The chariot. 
to go on vacation, to travel, take pictures of yourself, like in some cute outfits or something. But this is also you getting away from it all. Okay. You guys get away from it all in February, the Hierophant to recenter yourself and to ground yourself. Some of you have abilities, talents, skills that I don't feel like you've like not been using them, but again, this relation, cause you've been doing it all. Okay. So you have been doing them, but this relationship is taking up precious, precious, precious artistic energy. And so a lot of you get away to clear your head and to ground yourself because this relationship has you off focus and off balance. Um, and you go to retrieve that death. And this is also where I feel like you guys get uh, an epiphany or a revelation that you need to end this relationship. Literally, the higher font with death. I need to end this relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a work relationship. It could be a job. And you're like, I need to leave this place before I hurt somebody, right? I need to leave before I get into it with more people. This is how you nurture and care for yourself, especially since a lot of you feel like you believe someone has been ignoring your needs. This is where you give your, you know, give to yourself. This is also you being very emotional in the month of February. You may have moments where you just break down and cry. You may have moments where you um, do something for others just because because you wish you had someone to reciprocate that type of energy for you. So you're in a giving mood. You're emotionally supportive, even if it feels like that's what's being denied to you. And you do feel as if getting away, going on a little vacation, maybe even just the weekend, right? This doesn't seem like something long. Um, I took a, you know, a sabbatical for 10 months. It just feels like you just go away. You get cute. You have some fun. You have some drinks. And that is your moment of awakening where you start to see things from the perspective that you feel like you were missing. Um, this relationship is over. This, this thing is ended. I need to walk away. So the seven of swords feels like somebody petty behavior. If you make that decision, Mm, I'm trying to think of who had this and it might have been Pisces, but you know, you walking away doesn't sit well with someone or you making a decision not to invest in a work relationship, a love relationship. Somebody gets upset about it. Look how this person is kind of waiting for somebody. So, you know, again, just a heads up. People may act funny because you're moving different. You know, what's the seven of swords? They may try to take something from the house just to get you to call them and be like, hey, can I have my toaster back? You know, just something petty. Four of swords. Let me let me clarify this four of swords, but I feel like I know what it is, the star. So for me, the four of swords with the seven of swords is the energy of try to ignore them. Because people are going to be or someone is going to be doing something to try to irk you, get your attention again, trying to take something from you. And I do feel like this is saying don't feed into it. The star is confirmation that during Aquarius season, the month of February, th this is going to unfold. And I do feel as if you guys will have to stand up for yourself throughout the course of the month. I do feel clashing energy throughout the course of the month. But you stand up for yourself, though, the seven of wands and the star is saying that you feel good about it. The star is saying you are supported. Again, despite the fact that somebody here does not support you, does not pull their weight, there is supportive energy surrounding you, Libra. Okay. Aquarius, Scorpio is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Princess of Cups. Yeah. Um, and I also feel like um, some of you may be, um, may have some Virgo going on. Virgo, uh, Libra, right? I mean, Virgo, yeah, Virgo rising, but also Virgo Libra cusp because this was a similar kind of energy with different cards, but the Princess of Cups was there as well with them. And I felt an energy of them clashing. Maybe you're clashing with a Virgo, but your message is that you have to find a way to resolve conflict in a peaceful way. It can be done. You, unlike Virgo, don't feel like you're dealing with somebody so unreasonable that or a situation so out of control that it there's no way to like deal with it except for walk away. You could be in a situation where diplomacy can work, but you do have to stand up for yourself. And I do feel like that Princess of Cups is saying that you will try diplomacy the nice way, the kind way, the friendly way, right? Um, but you may need to take a tougher approach. What's the Princess of Cups? Hmm. Princess of Swords, you may need to take that tougher approach. 
Somebody takes your kindness for a weakness. It feels like a romantic partner. The world. It's time to end a relationship. This feels like um, a phone call you get while you're sleeping. Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, the star of somebody trying to antagonize you. And you're trying to keep the peace. So that could be very specific. But someone may like over call you or try to call you during like your resting hours. And I think that's what may do it for you guys. Oh, this person is is trying to hurt my livelihood. Like they keep calling me. If I turn my phone off, I miss business. If I can't sleep, I'm not able to go to work. So something like that is life changing for you. It, it, it gives you the perspective you need on this antagonistic person who feels like they use their words to cut you, to hurt you. What's the world? The magician. Take your power back in February. This person has too much of it because of your kindness. Something feels like take your power back with the magician energy. Let me um, get one message for you, Libra, here to sort of sum this up. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Want to date. So if you kind of want to like tie this up, it is about a relationship. I think that some of you are dealing with someone who is not supportive of you, who hasn't been pulling their weight. And yet there is someone here <laughs> waiting for them to mess up, just waiting for them to mess up. And it feels like this is the month they mess up. So those options, that's not just me as a reader going, well, the seven of cups means options. No, this is someone sees your profile pic. Um, someone actually, you know, feels like, okay, you're single or you're, you're, you're in a relationship that's kind of complicated. Let me shoot my shot. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups that was showing up. So someone does like you. All of this is going on, right? Somebody you're dealing with, that's conflict. But there is a solution, okay? A lot of you do have to take your power back though first. All right. So that is what I have for you, Libras. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you need something more specific for your situation, check out those details in the description box to see how you can book a reading with me.